2012. On May 1st, 2005, Eckerly Realty Inc. mailed a written offer to Massey for the sale of an office building. The offer included an express term that it would expire on June 30, 2005, if the acceptance was not delivered into the hands of the offer by the expiration date. On June 30, 2005, at 8 o'clock a.m., Massey sent a written acceptance to Eckerly via Massey's personal messenger. However, the messenger was not able to deliver the acceptance until July 1, 2005. On July 2, 2005, Eckerly contacted Massey, informing him that the acceptance had been delivered one day late. As a result, Eckerly refused to honor the acceptance. Which of the following statements is the most which of the following is the most correct statement? A. There is no contract between Eckerly and Massey. However, if Massey would have mailed the acceptance on June 30, 2005, a contract would have been created. B. There is no, there is a contract between Eckerly and Massey. The, mo the moment that Massey gave the acceptance to the messenger, a contract was formed because acceptances are valid immediately upon dispatch. C. There is a contract between Eckerly and Massey. <clears throat> the fact that the acceptance arrived only one day late is of no significance. Or D. There is no contract between Eckerly and Massey. Let's review the question. When an offer is made through the mail, uh, the following conditions must be met. First, all communications other than, than acceptance are effective only when it is, it is received by the offerer. Second, the acceptance is generally effective when mail slash dispatched. Third, if rejection is mailed before acceptance is mailed, neither is effective until received. Accept and also, acceptance must be by a reasonable time by a reasonable means, unless it is specified by the offerer. If it's specified by the offerer, the acceptance must comply completely with the terms of the offer. Also, there is the mailbox, there is the mailbox rule. Uh, the mailbox rule states that it has to be properly addressed and dispatched. It's, it's the properly dispatch, addressed and dispatched acceptances can only become effective when it is dispatched, or in this case, in this case, in the mailbox rule, placed in the mailbox. And this means that even if they, if the mail is lost and never make it to the offerer, there is still the accept. It is still dispatched as an acceptance. But an exception to this rule is that the offerer can state that the offer must actually receive the acceptance physically, meaning the letter of the acceptance must be in the hands of the offerer, not placed in the mailbox. So let's review the answer choices. A. There is no contract between Eckerly and Massey, however, if Massey would have mailed the acceptance on June 30, 2005, a contract would have been created. A is incorrect because a contract would not be conceived be even with the mailbox rule. The mailbox rule does not apply because Eckley Realty Inc. clearly stated that the acceptance must be, quote, delivered into the hands of the offerer by the expiration date. As I said before, an exception to the mailbox rule is that the offer can state that the offer must actually receive the acceptance. So this is why A is incorrect. Uh, let's move on to B and C. B is there is a contract between Eckerly and Massey. And C is there is a contract between Eckerly and Massey. The fact that the acceptance arrived only one day late is of no significance. The moment that Massey gave the acceptance to the messenger, a contract was formed because acceptances are valid immediately upon this patch. So B and C are incorrect because there is no contract between Eckerly and Massey because Massey did not accept the offer on time. And also, the dispatch is not the mailbox rule. The dispatch is 
alluding to, towards the mailbox rule. But as I stated before, the offerer clearly said that the acceptance must be obtained or received by Eckerly by June by June I believe June June thirtieth, two thousand five at eight a.m. But since they received it July second, then it is an in, then it is invalid. <clears throat> Which is why D there is no contract between Eckerly and Massey is correct. Now it's correct because there was no reasonable time allowed for Massey for Masse to respond and accept the offer. And since Massey did did not reply back within the window the window the offer was open, then there is no contract. <clears throat>